The air shows us how to use our minds. All meditation technique is about using breath so that you can empty your mind. It's good if you keep open rather than deciding. And then whatever you need will come towards you. Keep your mind like a parachute. It works best open. The medicine and the way that Sue paints the medicine picture is beautiful. It's really beautiful and it speaks to everybody. This medicine is medicine for the soul. It's heart medicine. It's, it's a full body experience. What's the first thing you think of when you think about coming on one of these weekends? Connection and focus. Focus and fire. Fire and warmth and light and love. Being outside. Lots of cups of tea and cackling, laughing a lot and fun. Smoke. All sorts of smoke. Using sawdust for very unusual reasons. Lots of fire building, sitting around the fire, and relating to circles in a totally different way. What's the first thing you think of when you think about coming on one of these weekends? Uh, might be challenge, but it's also peace. Fire. More fire? About how much it does my soul good and how closer I can get to my real soul. Yeah, about being elemental. Feeling elemental. And let's face it, I think all of us here are looking for something. We're on a mission, we're on a path, we're searching. You know, we're bogged down with either trips with people, or trips with jobs, or trips with money, or whatever. And so we're coming here looking for some kind of tool to use to give us the answers. The element of fire. It teaches us about spirit. Spirit is the, the life force energy, the unique configuration of life force energy that is me, that resides in this physical body. And when I'm in touch with that, I've got spirit. I am spirit. And I'm spirited. I'm passionate about it. Whatever it is. What are the things that you go yes to? And do you allow yourself to follow your yeses? The people here are people that are genuine in a way that I don't think I've come across before in my life. As above, so below. As without, so within. Great Spirit, come to me. Great Spirit, flow through me, now and forevermore. Emotions. We all have fear, anger, sadness, joy, and stillness. They're all emotional gifts given to us. And somebody who is healthy emotionally just flows. What would you say are the potential hazards of a weekend like this? Not enough chaos. Falling in the fire. Complete collapse of reality. I guess I would expect to be challenged, you know, outside my comfort zone, but then that's not really hazard because that's why I come here. You get rained on quite a lot, termed as a, as a freak hippie for the rest of your life. What would you say are the potential hazards of a weekend like this? Just, just general fear of not being comfortable. I'm getting to like it too much. I could get the shits probably from too much vegetable food. No hazards, but um, yeah, that's, that's very true actually. And yet there's, there's, a, there's a fear there, and yet there isn't really any hazards. But uh, I don't know where the fear comes from, really. So if you're sitting watching this and you're thinking, is this for me, the medicine wheel, I'd recommend anyone to come along. Don't be put off by the fact that you don't have a lot of knowledge about it. Medicine wheel works differently for everybody and you'll find your medicine. And when you do, you'll feel you've come home. It seems a bit strange and weird at first. Um, I've never done art like this before. 
everything's alright, everything's okay, it's okay to just be who you want to be, um, and it's fun. You want to learn how to be, sit on the earth, sleep on the earth, dream. And what would you say is the best thing about these weekends? The feeling of relaxation. Comradeship. Many, many people equally as insane as, as myself gathered together in a field and grooving with the fire. The people. The people in nature, on the land. Yeah, all well, that stuff about spirit, yeah, I like that too. Um, I want to mention that. I'm just having fun, actually, hanging out barefoot on the field, feeling I can be in the space and in the on the grass uh, and just being here in touch with nature not worrying too much about many things. best thing is being in, sitting in the circle is really seeing who's here and talking to all the people and the social aspect of it and apart from that the taking myself out of my usual life and having some space to, to do medicine for myself. At the moment getting out of my house and working the kids and having a bit of head space and, and being with the group and nice to be out and change your space and change all your energy in it. Being around people who are striving for healing and for wholeness and for open-hearted, heart-to-heart communication. Coming away with different perspective, because I find it difficult to create perspective. I can climb a mountain, but that's, this is more, this is more lasting in my in my everyday life. What is the best thing about these weekends? I really, really like sweat lodges and I really like being in a space where everybody's really, really open. I think it has quite a long-lasting impact. Afterwards, probably, looking back and remembering all the good points and the, the people and looking forward to the next ones. The best thing is that I get to hang out with people that I enjoy the support of, feel part of a family community. I get a lot of insights into myself and my life and I go away feeling like I've had a good time and I've got some information to use in my everyday life. That it works, that, that, that the medicine really works and that always something, something happens unexpectedly. I mean it fades when you leave from here but the actual moments when you realise oh yeah I've made a change in the way I perceive the world, the way I relate to it that's for the better, that's actually made a difference to me. And I, you know, I do the stuff and I go away, and it, I have this glow for like a week or two, then it fades and I'm back to the old patterns again, and it's, you know... But it's good to actually, even for that short period of time, be pulled up and shown another way, because... I, I guess it's like lighting enough candles, eventually, you know, the light is strong enough that it's... it does actually vanquish the darkness. see here from the gentleness of the people and the strength of the people and also the beauty of the children uh, that uh, this this medicine works it's a very powerful medicine so yeah come and see there's no harm here there's no danger here it's all it's all to do with uh, positivity and, 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 uh, and love it's the sanest thing I've ever done it seems mad but it's really really good stuff and I think everyone I've seen do it has turned into actually a more grounded, open-hearted, happy, alive person. It's amazing and it's beautiful and I just trust that it's what you need to do if it's what you're thinking about and take the leap. <laughs> if you're watching this, the medicine must be talking to you somehow. And it's a path, same as any other path. But for me, this path is a way where I can make sense out of life. And the medicine wheels are great keys to that. They feed my hungry mind, but they let me open my heart. And it's the beauty way. It makes people shine. There's lots of shiny people here. The medicine, as I experience it, is about connecting with yourself, connecting with the deepest parts of yourself. And it's fun as well. It's a lot of fun. And that's what's important for me on a path, that the path isn't all about being serious and doing things right. And it's when you feel that it's fun as well, then it's right. If you're attracted to the energy that's on this film, then make, make an intent.
intention to connect with that path and uh, the path will be there in front of you.